Okay, and then Okay, I think Doc. Yeah, somebody came. Edwin. So now I think he is on. Uh, yeah. I'll start the webinar now, sir. After that, I'll ask Baba to ask the WhatsApp. Oh, man, we'll be on, man. So can we start now? Is somebody missing? Assalamu everyone. You can hear everyone. We can make a testing in the Assalamualaikum Assalam. We can hear you, Doctor. We can hear you. Okay. okay. All right. So can we start now? Yes, sir. All right. So, uh, dear ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Uh, we are actually, first of all, before starting it officially, we were expecting in today MOU signing ceremony, His Excellent Mr. Asam Jamil, Minister of State and Special Assistant to the Prime Minister of Tourism Coordination Government of Pakistan and Chairman of PTDC. But uh, due to his already scheduled meetings, unfortunately, he could not join us. But His Excellency Mr. Azam Jamil has left a video message for all of us, which I would request our technical support to please play at first before the officially start of the ceremony. Uh, I just want to congratulate all the stakeholders who have signed this MOU uh, for the training of tourist guides. Uh, I've been involved in tourism for over four decades and I've always uh, felt the need that tourist guides need to be professionally trained and they need to provide a very optimum and very qualified services to visiting tourists that uh, come to our country. And I'm so happy that I read here that the PTDC with the World Federation of Tourist Guide Association, the Austria-Pakistan Association, Kosar University, uh, Professor Habib Bukhari is a friend, Pakistan Business and Professional Council, and the Sustainable uh, Tourism Foundation Pakistan, and of course, last but not least, Discover Pakistan. That's the only uh, channel that we have in the country that promotes tourism. So my prayers and best wishes to all of you, and uh, I'm sure that um, if we embark on this with sincerity, uh, the tourist experience in Pakistan will become a very pleasurable one. Thank you very much, Pakistan. So thank you very much for this message. Uh, and uh, I would like to now thank you, uh, Mr. Aftabur Rahman Rana, Managing Director, PTDC, Alusha Ritchie, President, World Federation of Tourist Guide Association, Viola Lewis, board member and lead trainer, the World Federation of Tourist Guide Association, Dr. S. Kassaranis, President, uh, Business, Pakistan Business Professional Council, Abu Dhabi, Dr. Kassar Rafiq, CEO, Discover HDTV, Pakistan, Dr. Habib Bukhari, Vice Chancellor, Kosai University, Mari, Pakistan, and Mr. Arif Tufel, Vice President, STFP, Pakistan. 
Thank you, uh, everyone, for taking out time uh, from your very busy schedule for today's MOU signing ceremony, which will also be remembered and wishes for the newly built uh, relation between World Federation of Tourist Guide Associations and Pakistan tourism industry. Ladies and gentlemen, this MOU is signing under the panel Pakistan Tourism Development Conference is an initiative of Pakistan, Austria Pakistan Association, along with their partner organization, Pakistan Business Professional Council, Abu Dhabi Collaboration Partner, Pakistan Tourism Development Corporation, Travel Partner, Pakistan International Airline, and Media Partner, Discover Pakistan HDTV. As well as, ladies and gentlemen, I also would like to uh, thank to our supporters, WFTGA, our travels, Traveler Archies, Food Party, and Elysiumism partner. Together, uh, all to promote tourism, culture, and trade under the banner, we are aiming in future uh, to further expand this network, ladies and gentlemen, through connecting all relevant stakeholders from Pakistan, not only to promote tourism, culture, and trade, as well as connecting them to the world, generate future economic activities through this yearly conference. Ladies and gentlemen, this MOE is a follow-up of Pakistan Tourism uh, Development Conference held in 2021. I would like to also thank you for your, all of your continuous support afterwards and making this happen. Today, all uh, are part of this newly built uh, relation between World Federation of Tourist Guide Associations and Tourism Industry of Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, the MOU is signing between seven parties, I will name one by one, is a Pakistan Tourism Development Corporation, Pakistan PTDC based in Islamabad, Pakistan, and represented by Aftabur Rahman Rana, Managing Director, PTDC. World Federation of Tourist Guide Associations, WFTGA, based in Vienna, Austria, and presented by Alicia Ricci, President. Austria Pakistan Association, based in Vienna, Austria, and represented by Shai Nadim, President. Kosar University, Murray, based in Murray, Pakistan, and represented by Dr. Habib Bukhari, Vice Chancellor. Pakistan Business Professional Council, PPBC, based in Abu Dhabi, UAE, and represented by Dr. S. Kesaranis, President. Sustainable Tourism Foundation, Pakistan, STFP, based in Islamabad, Pakistan, and represented by Mr. Araf Tupel, Vice President. Discover Pakistan, HTTV, the only tourism channel in Pakistan, ladies and gentlemen, based in Lahore, Pakistan, and represented by Dr. Kaiser Afik, CEO. Ladies and gentlemen, today's uh, MOU signing ceremony objectives are to create and maintain effective working relationship between the parties regarding the cooperation for the promotion of tourism in Pakistan and development of skilled workforce, specially trained uh, tourist guides for the tourism in sector of Pakistan. The framework of the MOU includes mutual cooperation regarding sustainable growth of the tourism industry and trade in Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, I personally believe that tourist guides are always the face of any tourism industry in any country to welcome tourists from all parts of the world, including local tourists and two-day MOU signing ceremony will help not only to produce professional tourist guides in Pakistan, as well as create job opportunities in this sector and will generate an economic activity in near future. Thank you very much for the uh, listening me. Now, ladies and gentlemen, um, I will move on to our next speaker, uh, Mr. Ex Excellency Aftabo Rahman Rana, Managing Director, Pakistan Tourism Development Corporation to please uh, tell us about the tourism industry, importance of professional tourist guides, and how this MOU will benefit Pakistan tourism industry. Over to you, His Excellency Aftabur Rahman Ranas. Thank you very much, uh, Shah Saab, uh, respected representative of partner organization. Assalamu alaikum and a very warm greeting uh, from Pakistan. 
Uh, it is uh, indeed a matter of great pleasure and honor for me to be part of today's important event. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank all of you for taking interest in the development and promotion of tourism sector in Pakistan. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan has tremendous potential of tourism, which is based on the rich natural, cultural, and landscape diversity. The present government of Prime Minister Imran Khan is committed to develop tourism sector in all the regions of Pakistan and is now working on different projects in all the provinces uh, to ensure sustainable growth of this sector for the socio-economic development and employment generation in Pakistan. As the purpose of this memorandum of understanding is to create and maintain an effective working relationship between the parties for the promotion of tourism in Pakistan, and especially develop the uh, skilled workforce uh, in the field of uh, tour operation and tour guiding. Uh, therefore, I'm confident that by working together in a cooperative and collaborative manner, we can utilize this great uh, potential of tourism in Pakistan for the long-term economic growth uh, in the country. Uh, I once again uh, thank all of you to be part of this initiative and looking forward to work with all of you for the positive outcome of uh, this partnership, which is going to be established today through this memorandum of understanding. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Aftabur Rahman Rana for your comments and uh, telling us how important is uh, this MOU for the tourism industry of Pakistan. Now I move on to uh, Dr. S. Kesar Anis, President, Pakistan Business Professional Council, PPBC, Abu Dhabi. He's also our partner organization in Initiative Pakistan uh, Tourism Development Conference. Sir, over to you. Thank you so much, Shahid Nadeem Saab. Thank you for the introduction. Um, uh, Excellency Azam Jamil Saab, I, I'm sure he will get the message. Uh, Minister of Tourism, Aftab Rahman Saab, uh, Managing Director of Pakistan Tourism, Alushka Rishi, President World Federation of Tourism Guide, Shahid Nadeem Saab, President of Austria Pakistan Association, Dr. Habib Bukhari, Vice Chancellor of OSR University Murray, Arif Tufail, Vice President, Sustainable Tourism Foundation Pakistan, and last, Dr. Kaiser Rafiq, CEO of Discover Pakistan. Assalamu alaikum and, and uh, good afternoon to everyone. Uh, welcome to the virtual MOU signing ceremony. Uh, this is very important, which we, uh, the council initiated uh, six months ago in interaction with the, uh, um, Shahid Nadeem Saab and uh, Aftab Saab to put on a platform to work on the tourism on the policy of uh, Prime Minister Imran Khan, who is taking the lead for this uh, such an important thing to bring, uh, promote Pakistan in the world. Uh, Pakistan government plays an aggressive policy to promote tourism in Pakistan, as you all know, since they started this. Uh, this sector was uh, need attention and was not as promoted to the world or to the overseas Pakistani, uh, nor to the local residents. Although Pakistan has made it to, for information, nearly 1,046 kilometer coastline along the Arabian Sea and Gulf of Oman in the south, which is very, very important, is a treasure to, for Pakistan. Pakistan is a home to 108 peaks above 7,000 meter and 4,555 above 6,000 meter. You can imagine the strength of the, uh, the uh, scenic view of this area. Five of the 14 highest independent peaks in the world is our 8,000 are in Pakistan. Moreover, Pakistan is a home to over 7,000 glaciers more than anywhere except the polar uh, region. It has possessed religious sites, historical buildings from the, from the mobile empire, Mughal Empire and earlier. You can imagine how, much relig how many religions are there in Pakistan if you go to the history of Pakistan and the, the religious uh, tourism can boom there is still, you know, all uh, people from our neighbor countries are coming, people from uh, Far East are coming. So this is not 
have been, should be encashed. Many culture from Karachi to Gilgit-Baltistan, so much is provided to the tourists, and especially the type of the best food, which are popular in the world and the tourists can enjoy all the provinces. The council took lead by conducting and promoting Pakistan tourism throughout the webinar session quarterly, promoting tourism in GCC, Europe, and beyond Europe. The council would like to achieve the plan of tourism to find Pakistan, also would like to suggest to have a school college and there should be a department in each college promoting the tourism and soft skill, especially uh, health facilities and other infrastructure level uh, development. This needs a special budget which government should do through the World Bank or through other organizations. And it's a work to do, and especially the work they have done on the ski resort, mountaining, international water sport, and Formula One, which should I be I always request that Formula One, as was planned before in, in, in the presidentship of Parvez Musharraf, should be restored and should be brought to Pakistan, which attract international tourists in Pakistan. Uh, with all the organizations representing to the PTC, the key organizations are rather the leading organization of the memorandum and understanding. We all work as a team to take Pakistan to a leading tourism spot of the world. Our airline, Pakistan International Airline, Air Blue, all should have a special packages and fare for the tourists. This should be done as early as possible. Also, we should have an annual world event of tourism in each province of Pakistan. It's very important. I also, from this podium, I'm requesting overseas Pakistanis to come and see Pakistan. Uh, I will share with you the Expo 2020. If you go to the Pakistan Pavilion, you can see the mountain of Pakistan. You can see the religious areas where it's happening. You can see many cultural events. Certainly, this, this is a big motivation, and I thank uh, the Pakistan Expo, especially Pakistan Pavilion people, for promoting Pakistan. Pakistan still needs a lot of development and human resources. Lastly, I will advise you that we should continue our quarterly meeting for seeing how far our MOU is going, and this way we can hand-to-hand -hand promote Pakistan tourism. Thank you very much, and thank you, everyone, for my attention. Thank you very much, Stuttgart, uh, Kessar, Anisa, for your uh, remarks. And uh, also, there is uh, definitely a lot of potential, not for the tourism, also for the medical and religious tourism. Uh, from this platform in future, we are also aiming to promote the medical and religious tourism and uh, also to uh, take on board the stakeholder in Pakistan. And also, we will definitely uh, convey this message to our people here to please come and the overseas to visit there and see the Pakistan, how beautiful is it? <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, now I move on uh, to uh, Dr. Kassar Rafiq, the CEO, Discover Pakistan. HDTV is the only tourism uh, channel in Pakistan right now. And you are doing, sir, a tremendous job to promoting Pakistan, not only in Pakistan, around the world. So please, uh, if you say a few words about the channel and uh, the channel promoting the Pakistan the way. Bismillah rahman rahim Thank you so much, Shahad Nadeem, uh, for making this possible and bringing all the partners together. As always, you are doing a tremendous job putting things together, sitting far from Pakistan, but always thinking about Pakistan. And I would like to thank all the future partners as well uh, for being together and thinking about this. Uh, as the minister, Azam Jamil, His Excellency also said uh, that trained tour guides, that's what we really need. Uh, so that's really, really a great initiative, never been done in Pakistan before, especially at this scale. And um, really, really, uh, appreciating the efforts of uh, Mr. Aftab Rana sitting next to me, but since he has come here on this his position, and things are really moving ahead. The Pakistan Tourism uh, uh, Development Corporation is seeing lots of positive changes uh, which are happening all over uh, for the industry uh, of tourism. And now just a little bit overview uh, 
of uh, tourism tv channel this is uh, not only shahid bhai this is not only a pakistan's first tourism tv uh, that's what i thought before starting this tv channel but when i have done a thorough research i learned that this is world's first tourism tv uh, believe you me i really want uh, everyone yeah. to look it up on that uh, yeah. because there are some travel x and some other channels but they are dedicated to traveling not the tourism so we learned that afterward after launching we learned that we made a history on the on the planet uh, by launching this tv and uh, it was when we started it lots of uh, feasibilities and lots of experts uh, they were of the opinion that the tourism tv cannot be viable uh, in any economy forget about pakistan <laughs> so <laughs> it's really uh, that was it and i was discouraged by many and even my own team they were like uh, this is like a kind of madness uh, which you are thinking about it would never have an roi uh, so i was very much convinced through my past experience with the tourism industry i was very much convinced that the tourism has the greatest potential in pakistan and the content of tourism which is a positive to uh, content this will do really wonders and after one year we are right about to celebrate our first anniversary and we are seeing that uh, i'm receiving messages believe you me the other day i received one message from a very senior retired bureaucrat he said i was i didn't know that this channel exist i was in the hospital and when i started watching discover pakistan the tv channel and after 2 hours of watching the tv channel i felt that i'm half way cured <laughs> so he said i feel like i'm really fine half way fine so i called my doctor and i asked him i said make sure that whoever comes to the bed they see this tv channel because the kind of Uh, the kind of global arena we live in today everywhere the talk about war talk about uh, other all the incidents all the bad things the media is just picking up everything little bit here there and all day long giving us as a breaking stories so it's making really everyone crazy so in this time this was very soothing uh, and uh, i'm sure and uh, and even financially even financially after one year uh, we are very near uh, our break even so that proves that this industry is has a huge growth and it can do really wonders in pakistan especially mm. and now talking about this mou uh, again once again i'm really thankful for everyone think to think about this uh, we will be doing definitely our part um, as a media partners Uh, we can create awareness we can uh, have some sort of virtual classes if that are needed we can do that we can make a few segments little segments which uh, can make those tour guides aware and one more thing which me and uh, uh, mr aftab rana has discussed the other day we are also going to work on responsible tourism that's what uh, rana saab has worked all his life and we salute him uh, for doing so and we are going to be part of it so we need to uh, put this uh, together uh, and that we can uh, uh, put together with the tour guide and one more thing i would like to add that discover pakistan as a tv channel because we consider ourselves we are not only a tv channel we need to a tv channel and especially being from the tourism industry we need to go one step ahead so in next two months 60 to 90 days uh, we are launching an app uh, very technology technologically capable app uh, tourguide.com.pk our app is already under production and in this app all the tour guides who are trained or untrained who are self claimed tour guides because we we can register them we are not charging anything for any service neither to the traveler or uh, not to the uh, tourist neither we are charging any amount to the tour guide 
So we are put, bringing all the tour guides on this platform. Uh, similarly, we are also working on uh, uh, the people who are who are who own the house house or they own one room or they own any sort of vehicle which they can offer to the tourist. So we are bringing all of these people together on one app. And the beauty of this app is again, like I said, we are doing it as a, our CSR campaign. We are not doing it as a commercial entity. So therefore I would say that as soon as our first batch will be ready, they'll be put it on the app and they will be exposed to their services can be offered to millions of tourists, uh, which can again, uh, which can register for free of cost to obtain their services. And I'm confident that uh, there will be this MOU uh, eventually will end up providing the lots of employment in Pakistan and uh, the lots of, uh, lots of uh, families, they'll be surviving through this MOU, inshallah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Kasarafik, for your detailed overview about the tourism and the channel. And also, um, I have one also suggestion because the WFTG is working around the world. They have the tourist guide associations and there are also possibility to work together because we are here not to only for this MOU, all partners to promote each other the way we can also promote Pakistan all over the world to produce some kind of program. They can also run during their uh, conventions, their uh, conferences, and also to promote the tourist guide things here in Pakistan. So they are kind of sort of program that can be produced and that can be run on the TV channel in future. Uh, thank you very much. Now I move on to uh, Dr. Uh, Hapi Bukhari, is the Vice Chancellor, Kosar University, Mari. Uh, please, sir, uh, give us a short introduction about the university and role of uh, this implementation of the MOU. Over to you, sir. And first of all, thank you for taking our time for this MOU. Uh, Assalamu alaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Shahid sir. And I'd like to thank you, Adam Jamil sir, for claiming me his friend and Aftar Rahman Anasa is also a dear friend of mine and all the honorable members, Alusha uh, Ritchie, Shahid Nadeem Sahab, Kastar Sahab, Arif Sahab and Dr. Kastar Rafiq Sahab finally from the Discovery Channel, uh, Discover, Discovery Pakistan. So let me introduce you now as one of our honorable colleagues mentioned about the diverse, diversity of Pakistan. The Pakistan is a, a bit beautiful, has a beautiful landscape with rich mangroves in a coastal area, of forest of coastal area of Arabian Sea, and then moving down towards these mountain area in between. We get all those rich history, religious tourist sites and the, the, the historical sites and all the old civilization. And then we walk into this mountainous area where uh, Murray, basically where I'm situated, very close to the capital Islamabad. Uh, it's a very attractive uh, a place for all the tourists. It's very really easily accessible with about 25,000 footprints every other day and 60,000 you know, people. And there are about more than 300 hotels and you can imagine how much tourist guides are associated with this industry in this particular area. And there has been a huge gap in terms of training uh, these tourist guides and you know, carrying out systematically these tour operations in Pakistan. And I believe Pakistan being very vibrant in terms of a, a, a sustainable tourism, tourism industry, a lot of players like Aftar Dana and many friends are working on that area as of the meals of himself for a long time. So there has been a huge gap. We do understand that. And there comes in the uh, educational institution with the Kosa University of Mari, where I've been basically appointed as a founder vice chancellor. And with the tourism and hospitality management, one of the main uh, program which we are basically running in this university. And we started this last uh, semester with uh, about 30 students intake. And now we are going to expand that in uh, other areas as well. Now, what we are trying to do, basically, we're trying to develop an ecosystem. Uh, tourism and hospitality is a complex conundrum. We all are aware of the fact that there are about one in 10 jobs which are created in this industry worldwide. And there's a, many countries have got a huge you know, potential. The GP, uh, GDP of a European country, for example, is about 10 to 11% basically relying on this industry. Pakistan has a huge potential 
and it is about reaching about I think four to five percent so far. So we believe that by taking these small steps with the tour operations and tour guide, and if we organize these people, because there are millions of families which are associated with this profession. If we look at those tours guide, and uh, and if we can basically uh, empower those communities, now we believe in Murray. There are a huge, huge potential because this is the gateway of tourism. Himalaya, Hindu Kush, and Karakam, all these mountainous communities are basically linked together. And we believe that this is a place where we can basically train all those tourist guides and can come into play and uh, 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 do our social corporate responsibility by training these <coughs> tourist guides along with our partners and uh, giving them an opportunity to you know, have alternate ways of earning as well. As I said, we have to create an ecosystem where other uh, areas are also connected with this tourism and hospitality industry, whether that is a basically environment that's basically a anthropology, social work, and all those areas which are linked with this tourism industry, I believe, and food industry, hospitality industry, uh, food and beverage, uh, as well as a value addition in terms of organic food production and all, all those developing fruiting valleys, which used to be a major uh, commodity of this region, which has been basically lacked. Now we are trying to develop floriculture, horticulture, and all those areas where we try to bring uh, other tourists in this uh, particular area. And, and this is going to be expanding as well because of a, a network of roads, which are going to be you know, seen uh, in the recent times where the other valleys will also be uh, open to the tourists, which were uh, earlier inaccessible because of a uh, because of a lack of the roads to those places. So we're going to you know, work on those areas and try to, you know, educate these uh, tourist guides. We have a privately, you know, established tourist association here with, with these people with a little training in mannerism and etiquettes and presenting themselves, not only the heritage and culture of this region, but also showing those sort of different sites in a way to make these uh, the, 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 the tourist visits very memorable in these regions, unless and until they're not properly trained, we won't be able to attract the tourists from all over the you know, world. So that's what one of the area where we basically like to you know, excel and you know, collaborate with our partners. And thank you very much for giving us an opportunity and we'll be very happy to uh, do our social corporate responsibility by training uh, tourist guide to our uh, very able faculty. We have recently been into, uh, you know, induct uh, about five PhDs in tourists, uh, in hospitality and tourism sector. And we are expanding in that area as well. So those faculty members can be an asset in terms of training these uh, uh, the tourist guides into uh, also systematically running the tourist operation. We can also be a part of uh, a TV channel discovery and promoting the cause as well. So we'd be very happy to be a part of uh, that as well. Uh, uh, Dr. Saab, Dr. Saab. So thank you very much with these words. I, Shai uh, Saab, Bhav Shukriya. For giving me an opportunity. Thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Abhi Bukhari sir, for your uh, brief description about the tourist uh, guides uh, and how important uh, these are for the tourism industry of Pakistan. Um, now I move on to uh, Mr. Arif Tufail. He's the Vice President, Sustainable Tourism Foundation, Pakistan, STFP. Uh, kindly, sir, over to you and uh, please. Uh, Thank you very much, uh, Shahi sir. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is a matter of great pleasure for me to represent Sustainable Tourism Foundation Pakistan in this MOU signing ceremony. Ladies and gentlemen, Sustainable Tourism Foundation Pakistan is a national non-profit and non-political organization which was established in 2008 by a group of eminent professionals from the tourism industry to promote sustainable tourism in Pakistan. STFE's mission is to promote the facilitate the growth of sustainable and responsible tourism in Pakistan in close partnership with concerned stakeholders from public, private, and NGO sectors. STFP is working closely with public and private sector stakeholders at national, regional, and international level to facilitate and promotion the exchange of knowledge, experiences, and ideas on best practices of sustainable tourism. Over the last 15 years, STFP has done a lot of work by creating awareness about the concepts of ecotourism, responsible tourism, and sustainable tourism in Pakistan. One of the special areas of intervention 
is the human resource development for tourism in Pakistan. Presently, STFP is the only organization in Pakistan which is regularly organizing training courses for the tour guides. So far, hundreds of young people have participated in our tour guide training program and are now serving in the tourism industry as tour guide and tour operators. We are very much hopeful that our new partnership through this MOU with the World Foundation of Tour Guide Association, PTDC, APA, PBPC, Kosar University Murray, and Discover Pakistan TV will greatly support us to promote the agenda of sustainable to development for tourism in Pakistan. Thank you all and looking forward to work together for this noble mission. Thank you very much. Thank you, uh, Mr. Araf Tufel, for your uh, detailed overview about the organization and your role of your organization in tourist guide trainings. Right now you are playing. That's great. And uh, definitely work together to promote it in future and work together. Uh, now, ladies and gentlemen, I move on to uh, Ms. Viola Lewis. She is the executive board member and lead trainer of World Federation of Tourist Guide Association. Uh, kindly please tell us the importance of professional tourist guides in today's tourism industry. Over to you, uh, Viola Lewis, please. Thank you very much. Um, it's an honor and a pleasure to be here following up from the earlier meeting we had in um, August. So esteemed tourism partners, excellencies, um, really I'm humbled and delighted to listen to you and I would like to congratulate you for putting the tourist guide profession at the heart of a sustainable tourism development in Pakistan. It sounds like an exciting project and uh, the World Federation of Tourist Guides Association is um, delighted to be part of it. So as you say beforehand, over to our esteemed president, Alushka Ritchie, allow me to in briefly introduce the World Federation of Tourist Guides Association and say a few words about the importance of tourist guides. If you allow me to share my screen, pictures speak louder than words. Okay. Yes, I think your screen is shared. Yeah, I'm just trying to go to the slideshow. Mm -hmm. Not sure. Take your time. Yeah, now I can. My computer seems to be a bit slow. Here we go. Apologies for this uh, delay. No, no, no issue. So the World Federation of Tourist Guides Association, we are the uh, global forum for professional tourist guides. It's really tourist guides um, around the world, working together, learning from each other and supporting in, in each other uh, in the endeavor our key stakeholders have in terms of tourism in, uh, around the world. Mm -hmm. So we are WFDJ as a non profit, non-political, global organization. And in order to raise our voice, we are bringing together tourist guide associations, so professional networks of tourist guides around the world, because we feel that our colleagues, we need support locally. So again, it's so wonderful to see the partnership you have already brought together around the table today. We also bring together individual tourist guides where there are no tourist guide associations in existence. And at the last check, I believe we've got one individual tourist guide member in Pakistan. So great potential mm -hmm. to grow our visibility and grow our partnership and support network in Pakistan. And last but not least, very importantly, affiliate members. And these are exactly you uh, dear esteemed tourism partners around the table here who can help uh, not only the tourist guide profession, but tourism in uh, general. So we have set out uh, in our mission to dedicate ourselves to the promotion of high standards, training and ethics within the profession. It is a profession. Mm -hmm. So let us remind ourselves what are tourist guides and what is our importance? I must say, listening to you, you probably don't need a reminder. So a quick summary of our changing role indeed as well. So tourist guides, if you look at the International Standards Organization's definitions, it says a tourist guide 
is a person who guides the visitor in the language of their choice. So we speak many languages um, uh, of the world. Mm -hmm. And often we tourist guides are the first and sometimes the only uh, voice or human <laughs> contact a visitor has to a country, depending on the length of their stay. The definition goes on to say that the tourist guides, we are interpreting the cultural and natural heritage of our area. And with that, we do need an area specific qualification. So you cannot be a tourist guide for the whole world. You cannot know um, about the entire heritage of the world. Yes, you have an awareness, but you live and breathe one particular heritage, your own heritage, and you are actually becoming an ambassador for that heritage. So these are tourist guides in general, but professional trained qualified tourist guides, we also work to a code of guiding practice. So WFDJ has a code of guiding practice, and this really underlines all those facets mm -hmm. of uh, tourist guides. As I say, we are becoming ambassadors for our tourism destinations, and not only for our destination, but indeed for the tourism industry itself. And uh, we want wherever we go to the local communities, to the heritage, we want the local community to say, oh, here's a qualified tourist guide coming. Welcome to you and welcome to the visitors you are bringing. Because the code of guiding practice also says we are um, there to protect not only the reputation of tourism in our countries, but we are making every endeavor to ensure that the guided groups treat the environment, wildlife, mm. sites and monuments, and local customs and sensitivities we are encounter with respect. So respect mm. and an outlook to sustainability are at the very heart of what tourist guides do. So we, we see ourselves really as partners in the uh, broader uh, sustainable tourism development. Also, in terms of our visitors, we consider ourselves to have a duty of care. We look after the comfort, after the safety of our visitors and safety, not only in terms of security, but in a world that has just experienced a pandemic, also in terms of the um, measures to reduce the spread of pandemics and so on. And really that extends to us becoming peace of mind, not only for our visitors, but again, for the tour operators, for the local communities and for the stakeholders we are working with. And coming back uh, lastly to the heritage interpreters, yes, we are creating memorable, authentic experiences, really genuine experiences you know, in Pakistan that cannot be found in guidebooks. And TV channels, yes, wonderful media partners can open the door, but visitors want to come, they really want to immerse themselves in the culture and tourist guides can be the medium to do that. We are also seeing ourselves in two parts. Uh, we are doing this through dignified mm -hmm. storytelling so WFDJ has just signed up with a big initiative, global initiative, dignified storytelling. And again, they are making the local voices heard and creating this authentic experience as part and parcel of what we are doing. And as said before, we are facilitators of sustainable tourism development because we want our industry, yes, we are, you know, we need the tourism industry as well for ourselves, but in general, we want it to be there not only today for a quick, um, you know, increase of our bank account, we want it to be there to be enjoyed by generations to come. So how are we getting to this? So training of tourist guides worldwide, just to highlight what hopefully our journey will be over the next uh, years and uh, you know, decades, I think, to come. It's a long, long, exciting mm -hmm. and rewarding journey. The tourist guide training has three components. Common knowledge, um, which WFEJ can bring about the tourism industry in general. I'm sure also Kosher University, delighted to hear all the initiatives that are going on there, will be a wonderful partner in that. Um, so common knowledge tourist guides relating to the outside world. 
particularly where we see ourselves to come in is guiding skills, presentation and interpretation skills, communication skills, uh, group management, uh, positioning, and really looking after our visitors whilst we are immersing them into our local heritage. So the guiding skills is something we can bring to the table. But the third component, dear colleagues, is really something um, you have in Pakistan, no one can bring to you the area specific knowledge, the understanding, the deep passion for Pakistan in itself and the local communities in all the facets you already outlined. So there we are looking forward to working with local partners like uh, Kosher University, like the television channel, like the communities in the more remote areas, like the heritage uh, ambassadors in the cities. So a beautiful cooperation I see developing there. And WFDG, my last slide before I hand over, in terms of the training we are providing, so it's refresher and introduction training. So introduction to new tourist guides, but also refreshers to those who are already working in the industry for a long, long time. However, and this might come as a surprise, WFDJ does not award tourist guide qualification because they always have an area specific aspect to them, which needs to be awarded by local stakeholders. But what, as I say, we can bring in the skills uh, aspect as introduction or refresher, and then really to make it sustainable, train trainers of tourist guides on different levels to have local experts carrying the torch well into the future and being globally connected to the WFDJ family. And with that, thank you so much for um, allowing me the, or giving me the opportunity to speak. And um, I will hand over through Mr. Shahid to Alushka Ritchie, our WFDJ president. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Vyad Lewis, for your uh, brief introduction about the WFTGA and the importance of tourist guides uh, and uh, the courses and everything. Definitely, it's a lot of potential and uh, future work together with the PTTC, Kosa University, definitely, and how we will move on in future. And we will also organize time to time our meetings and we'll see how on which level we are standing on and how we are improving in future. Um, uh, now, uh, as I also discussed last time with you, we are also expanding it to you, uh, this to the provinces level. We will also involve our, uh, Mr. Aftab Saab, I have also discussed, and we are also aiming not only on the defender to the all provinces of Pakistan, that everybody is part of it and uh, we can benefit from this. Now, um, I finally move on to the president WFTGA, World Federation of Tourist Guides Association, uh, Ms. Alush Ritchie, to please uh, uh, give us remarks about MOU and about this newly built relationship between WFTGA and uh, Pakistan tourism industry. Over to you, uh, Ms. Alush. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Nadim. So thank you very much to all involved and for the lovely words shared today and the warm welcome from all of the partners involved. As mentioned, this started in 2021 and we thank our head of training, Viola Lewis, for facilitating this with Mr. Nadim. So very much thank you from our side. We are pleased to be part of this memorandum of understanding between all these organizations. It's really, it's a great achievement to get together a collaboration of st stakeholders with this shared vision. And this MOU really does speak to something that affects all of us, which is the tourism industry. And now more than ever, we are all faced with the challenges and by coming together as per this MOU, we are hoping to strive to achieve a number of smaller goals that will helpfully bring us to the ultimate goal of a sustainable growth in the tourism industry and trade for Pakistan. This is a great step forward for our profession of tourist guides and tourism. And we mustn't forget that tourist guides really do play an important role in the value chain of tourism. And of course, in the broader ecosystem of tourism in the destinations. 
We are very proud to be part of the development of driving a skilled work workforce in the form of tourist guiding for the long-term economic growth of Pakistan. And this was mentioned by a colleague, and it's such a small sentence, but it's actually such an impactful sentence as well. I was very interested to see the World Travel and Tourism Council. They shared a statistic um, of continuous tourism growth of three and a half percent in the travel and tourism industry in Pakistan, surpassing the growth of the global economy of two and a half percent for nine consecutive years. So for us, we are so pleased to see that the importance of the tourist guide has been identified and that resources are being put to the general training, the specialist training, and of course, sustainable and responsible tourism um, that will help speak to assisting growing this tourism in Pakistan even further. So our involvement we see to see the growth of the quality and the credibility of the profession. And we hope that this filters through into the tourism directive for Pakistan. And as Dr. Pokari mentioned, the important role that tourist guides play also potentially play in spreading tourism to the outlying communi communities. And this is so important for the longevity of the profession as well, to keep those cultural importances highlighted. And those are mostly in those outlying cities and communities as well. Once you have those qualified tourist guides with a clear understanding of their role and working with this ecosystem, it really could drive your rural tourism and the sustainability initiative that you're looking at. So for us from the WFTGA and with this MOU, with its goals as mentioned earlier by Mr. Nadim, we really are thankful to be part of this initiative. We look forward to what the future may hold and we really see the potential in growing this relationship and focusing on tourist guides, on tourist guide training, and of course the tourism development that stems from that. So from my side to all of the stakeholders, thank you very much and we look forward to working with you in the future. Thank you very much, Victor, for your kind words uh, for the Pakistan and the tourism industry and uh, your aim to working together in future, not to promote each other and uh, to play uh, your role, WFTG, in um, production of the tourism industry in Pakistan. Uh, now, finally, ladies and gentlemen, um, we move on uh, to request everyone to please sign the MOU. It's written here on the agenda. And uh, kindly request you to show everybody on the screen. And also request to scan this copy. And the two email addresses are given below. One is the info at austria-pakistan.at. And the second is md at tourism.gov.bk. Kindly send uh, the copy scanned on that email. Once we have all the copies and, and collectively one copy, we will send to every party. So move on to the practical and signing step. So I think everybody have that. Okay, all right, done. So thank you very much and congratulations to everyone. And uh, I'm really thankful once again, everyone taking our time for this event. Uh, now, uh, before closing remarks, I would request Dr. S. Kesser and Nis for if any comment from their side. Thank you very much, everyone, for such a great, memorable uh, signing ceremony on such an important subject of tourism. And we in line with the Pakistan government, 
And I really commend uh, Aftab Rahman Saab for taking the lead in it and organizing it together with all of us. PTTC is playing a great role in the development of uh, tourism, and now it goes geometrically up. And I really appreciate uh, Shahid Nadim Saab for organizing all these things. It's not an easy task to assemble so many people together. It's a remarkable, and we signed this important document. I really admire uh, Dr. Kassar Rafiq Saab uh, strategy and capacity that in spite of knowing that the business is not is going to make loss, still he jumped on it and he's doing promoting. Not as you mentioned, Dr. Rafiq Saab, I have some relation who did mention that, that he discovered Pakistan, what is this? He was asking to me. And I said, I know in Dubai, I, I heard about it. He said, it's the best channel. And I'm sure this, you are doing a great service to Pakistan. I applaud for you for this reason. And you are, because seeing is believing. When, like I say in Expo, we are seeing it by this uh, great for National Geographic man who did the picture of, of this. So similarly, Discover Pakistan, you are relating to not only 22, uh, uh, 220 million people, but you claim as this is the first world tourism channel. I really commend on doing this great service. So this, you know, the tourism attract investment. Tourism uh, bring foreign direct investment. Tourism bring peace. And uh, similarly, I appreciate the one guy, uh, uh, Madam Lewis, this is a super work you have done uh, for us because the guys, they are the backbone for uh, tourists. If you have a good guide, uh, the tourists are happy. If the guide is not good, it's, it's, it's a different thing completely. And, and the guide is the key thing. And as we in this MOU, we uh, emphasize more on training. And uh, to find your World Federation to train our guide is really very important because you added the three point one is the local knowledge. If you train them, and I have a suggestion, if possible, and we have a Kohasar University a suggestion, if you draw a team to visit Pakistan who can train some of the 10, 12 uh, guys who can further train people there, and then they issue the certificate. This will be great services uh, to the tourism industry. I really feel that I know it's, it's little budget problem, we can sit down and see how they can come in for first year, they're teaching our uh, college people, and then they are in future can train them. Like Kohosar University in, in Mari, it's a beautiful resort as uh, it, it is said by our uh, brother, Dr. Habib Saab. It's a great resort, 300 hotels. I never knew there are 300 hotels and 25,000 food prints are coming. I never knew about this. This is uh, well imagined. We need a lot of uh, guys over there. And of course, it's a gateway to the whole area. And if the CSR, well, all, only government of Pakistan can do is that they can make it corporate social responsibility to all private sector to allocate some of this support to this uh, organization. I really thankful to the president of the World Federation for taking the time out and addressing to us to such an important event. And I would like that to continue for future also. Lastly, I should add this thing that we have an event on 20th of, uh, uh, 20th of March in Expo 22, discussion about future roadmap to promote tourism, culture, and trade. 20 March 5 p.m. at Pakistan Pavilion. So I'm giving message. Possibly I can we can do hybrid and we can uh, induct there. And this can be the first event which we can do that. So with that, uh, and again, thank you very much. But I should thank my board, Pakistan Business Profession Council board, my vice president legal. He's there, Mr. Badru Zaman, who, who reviewed our agreement. Mr. Iqbal Nasim is the vice president for program. Dr. Brohi, he is in the Dasul Khema University. He can also organize uh, training for the guys. 
and uh, Owens Nader Khan is again a leader, and Madam Itter who have organized all this. With that, I close, and if anybody has any question, they can always say that. Thank you very much. And I would like to invite everyone to Dubai and Abu Dhabi. Do let's, let me know when they want to come. We'll arrange everything. Thank you. Uh, I think if I'm not wrong, uh, um, Ms. Alushka is visiting uh, Dubai, right? In this time. Correct. Time. Correct. Next week, I will be visiting Expo 2020, a little bit, a few days of holiday and a couple of days of work. Yes. I'm, also, I'm also leaving tomorrow for Dubai. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so let's see if we can connect. Sure. Can, sure. can, yes. can uh, I put the, on, your, on your list on 20th March, 5 p.m.? Do uh, with us, and you can help out uh, together with us in the Pakistan Pavilion, in one of the beautiful pavilion in 192 Pavilion. I'm ex introducing Expo. 192. Okay, I will pop you an email, and we can we can chat on email and call. 192 Pavilion. This is the you can okay. read it. This is uh, our uh, even detail for on 20th March. I would like okay. your picture also there. I would like your picture also to be there. Let, me, be let me just see if I will arrive in time uh, yeah. for that. I think I only get, arrive the morning of the 21st. Let me have a look at my diary and I will get back to you. All right. We will go a little behind. <laughs> and, and we he, are expecting he, in this he, event he, he, uh, he, Dr. Kassar Rafiq and uh, Mr. Aftabur Rahman Rana as well. I Hopefully so you will make it and uh, spare your time for that. And, and lastly, I would like Dr. Kessler Rafiq Saab, the same name, to come and join in this event in Dubai. Sir, I'm reaching <laughs> Thursday morning, early morning, inshallah. So I'll be yeah. very happy. So now, uh, now uh, <laughs> I am forward. Trying, well, so, trying to be there as well, yes. <laughs> yes, I go on the list, sir. Ye, uh, Shah sahab, zara hume na ye poster sure, sure, you will get it. And uh, Miss Madam, why, la, why not you make a plan to come? You are such a smart, you can do a great miracle here. Come visit us on our invitation. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm also looking forward to bringing the trainer team to Pakistan itself. Oh, yeah, whenever you come, do let us know. We'll be there. And again, Arif Tufel sahab, thank you very much. And Dr. Habib Bukhari sahab, thank you so much for your playing role and taking commitment to play a role in this important subject. And then lastly, thank Pakistan, government of Pakistan for this. And we all behind PTTC, behind Aftab Rahman sahab. So now, uh, ladies and gentlemen, finally, I move on to the closing remarks by His Excellency, Mr. Aftab Rahman Rana the Managing Director, uh, PTDC. So over to you. Yeah, um, yeah thank you, Shai Nadeem. Uh, I think it's a wonderful initiative and uh, I must congratulate you for taking lead in getting all these seven partners together for a very, very important task because uh, the tour guides training has been one of the very, very neglected field in Pakistan tourism industry. And I hope uh, that this uh, collaboration uh, arrangement and a framework of collaboration between these seven organizations uh, will create a new history uh, in terms of building the very, very important capacity which is lacking in tour guiding services in Pakistan. And I'm really thankful to all the partner organization and all the heads who are sitting here today in this um, MOU signing ceremony uh, for taking time out of their busy routines. And now we will move on to have one or two working sessions uh, to discuss maybe uh, some of the activity, initiate the process of uh, starting training programs collaboratively. I myself have been uh, making some efforts to train guide I have developed certain training programs uh, and many guides have passed through that. I will share those uh, material and uh, uh, syllabus which I have developed uh, with the uh, World Federation of Tour Guide Association. And also, uh, as Vaula mentioned, uh, uh, the framework which they have, um, the knowledge, the skills, and the uh, local uh, information and all that will incorporate into that. Uh, and we'll try to develop certain local trainers uh, 
with their uh, assistants uh, who could initiate the process of uh, training other tour guides in Pakistan. And this is how we can move on. And as uh, Dr. Rafiq has already mentioned that he's going to provide an excellent platform to project and market the services of train to a guide. So I'm absolutely sure that this collaboration will be creating a, a very, very important uh, collaboration arrangement, uh, which will help to recognize the uh, services of trained guide, because so far we have very, very small number of uh, trained guide. So this will encourage many boys and girls to come into this field and get the professional recognition. So thank you very much to all of you. And uh, thank you, uh, Shahid and Dr. Kaiser, uh, for taking lead and organizing this uh, memorandum of association. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much once again, ladies and gentlemen, for taking our time for this MOU. Hopefully, uh, we will uh, be uh, in touch in near future and uh, we will further uh, move on to get the results we want for this MOU. And uh, now we close this session uh, and thank you, really. Thank, thank you. you. And okay, you. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye.